hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I will be recreating a Kylie Jenner makeup look I asked you guys in a poll which one did you want me to um, create and this look won by 51% I'll put it here so you guys can see which look I am talking about this is something very different for me because I one am wearing pink lipstick and pink blush and I never do that if you've been following me for a while in my channel then you know that pink and me don't do well we're not friends okay but um yeah i decided to sacrifice myself in this video it's a very simple and easy look to um recreate and i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys like these type of videos if you do then definitely let me know down below um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and you like this look and don't forget to comment down below what was your favorite part of this video also don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. I'm currently on Instagram and Twitter. I will list those down below. And don't forget to turn on your bell notification button so you know each time that I upload. Wow, that was a handful. I know it's a lot, but please do so because it helps me out a lot. Um, Yeah, I don't want to talk too much in this intro because I can tend to get carried away. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Hey guys, if you hear a little bit of background noise, it's because I'm outside because my house is typically louder than it is outside. So um, I just took a heat protecting spray by um, Sexy Hair. I'll link it down below. And I'm taking my PYT curling iron and I am curling my hair backwards. And I am letting that sit there for five seconds, literally just five seconds, crunching that up in my hand and then letting it go. Oh, and there's an airplane. I'm doing the same thing to the other piece of my hair so we're going to be repeating the same steps just curling it backwards and pretty much wrapping it in our hands scrunching it up and letting it go remember the key to this look is to leave your hair in the curling iron for five seconds if you leave it for any more than that it's going to be a little bit too curled and that's not what we're going for today but this is what your curls should start looking like and then you should just brush them through Next, I'm going to be taking my PYT flat iron. I love this flat iron. It's literally so good. And it's lasted me such a long time. And as you can see here, I am just pretty much flat ironing my ends so it can have like that wavy straight type of look. And so my hair can look longer because let's face it, if your hair is like midway, when you're like curling your hair, it goes shorter. Either way, I'm taking this Rose Elixir by um, Sexy Hair, and this is a dry oil. You can use it on your body or on your hair, and it doesn't make your hair greasy. So this is what your hair should be looking like. Now we're moving on to eyes. I'm taking my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, and I am placing that on my crease just to give my eyes a little bit of warmth. Kylie didn't have anything in her eyes, but I'm assuming that she had something like a bronzer just to, like, you know, make everything go together. Now I'm taking the NYX... Um, Vanilla vinyl. I have no idea how to pronounce this, but I'll list it down below. This is just a brown liner, and I'm just lining my eyes with this because Kylie did have a brown liner um, on her eyes. Now I'm taking the OG lashes in the style East Coast 2.0, and these were the ones that looked the most like naturalish and kind of like lash extensions because she has lash extensions in her like picture, so I wanted to mimic that. For moisturizer, I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched, and this is like my favorite thing ever at the moment. And then I am taking the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream as well. It's very important to hydrate your eyes, just so you don't get any wrinkles, you know, or creases, or whatever the case may be. Then I am taking the Becca Eye Correcting Cream, and I am just placing that underneath my eyes to brighten that up. Taking the Benefit Professional Place in that where my pores are to just blur that out. Now for foundation, I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Weightless Foundation in two shades. I will be listing them down below just because I don't know the shades from the top of my head and I'm outside. So I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. Now I'm taking the Laura Mercier and also the KKW in the shade number 6. The Laura Mercier concealer is a little bit too peach for me. Um, so I had to mix it with the KKW because that one is a little bit more yellow toned. And I like my concealers to be a little bit more yellow toned underneath my eyes. Even though it doesn't look like it this in this video, but I promise you that when you swatch this, it kind of oxidizes and it turns a little bit like peach. 
once again, don't forget, I am outside literally with Mother Nature right now, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so you know, <laughs> if you hear anything like crazy going on, but I'm pretty sure that my house is more wild right now. Either way, I am blending all of this out with my Beauty Blender as always. Beauty Blender is life. Now I'm taking this um, Maybelline Super Stay Stick Foundation. I'm not sure of the shade. I'll list it down below, but I am using this to cream contour. And you guys already know I love a cream foundation for my contour because I feel like it looks more natural, it blends easy, easier, and you know, it just doesn't give me that much trouble to blend out. And it doesn't leave any harsh lines. So try this out if you haven't. Now I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury um, Blurring Powder. This is like the airbrush powder, that's what it's called, but I call it the blurring powder because literally I just place it under my eyes and along the sides of my nose just to like blur out any like, you know, imperfections that we got going on there. This is this doesn't add any color or anything like that. This is the um, La Mercier Solvay 1 bronzer. I couldn't find this on the Sephora site um, to put it in on the last video, but I'll check on Google and see if I can find a link to it so you guys can purchase it because this is literally so bomb and the brush I'm using here is a angled brush from Real Techniques I am placing that contour along the sides of my nostrils because girl let's face it my nostrils are huge and you can literally fit an airplane in there but I still snatch my nose it's okay now I'm just bronzing up my skin with the Hula bronzer and further bronzing with the Sonia Kashuk Goddess um, Pretty much bronzer it has like an it's like a bronzer with a built-in illuminator as well now just to further um, brighten my under eyes I'm taking the KKW baking powder in the shade 1 and then just going in my lower lash line with the benefit hula bronzer now I'm taking the Kylie salted caramel on a Sigma fan brush and applying that to my you know to my cheeks as a highlight this highlighter is so pretty now I'm taking the Laura Mercier blush and this is in the shade um, Rose and I'm adding some faux freckles with a Maybelline brow pencil because Kylie has freckles but I don't so you know we gotta fake it. Then I'm taking this lip liner by Jordana which I will be listing down below. It is literally like three bucks and they're like amazing I swear by these lip liners. Then I am taking this um, Estee Lauder matte liquid lipstick. And I'm adding that to my lips and yeah you can tell that I'm feeling a little bit crazy with this lip but let's not talk about it and then I just added a matte liquid matte lipstick from Laura Mercier which I will be listing down below to finish the look I just put some Morphe setting spray I love you guys so much I'm sorry for this voiceover I promise the next one will be better 